I'm Devin. Today we're going to take a look at the Extreme Rock Power 700 watt power supply from Senti. And if you have any more questions or you need more information, you can go to www.senti.com. And this is the box that the power supply comes in. We can take a look at the front of the box. We see that it's got a selectable input power for 115 volt or 230 volt power supply. Um, so this will work all over the world. It's got an intelligent fan speed controller to run the fan at slower or faster speeds for low and high temperatures. Four 12 volt supply rails coming out and it's more than 78% efficient. And all this comes with a two year warranty. We've got all the product features in both Spanish and in English and it's certified by the different international standards. On the other side of the box uh, we've got some charts with all the specifications for the four different power supplies that come in this line of products. And today we're going to be talking about the ERP 700. That's the 700 watt power supply. Below that uh, we've got a table that shows all the different connectors and the number of connectors that comes with each one of these products. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at what's inside. So the first thing you have is the user manual in both English and in Spanish. The product warranty card, which is uh, two years. We've got a blister pack with all the connectors for your SATA, your PCI, Molex connectors. A little pack of mounting screws to mount this to your tower case. AC power supply cord, and last but not least, we've got the power supply itself. All right, let's continue taking a look at this 700 watt power supply. We've got some pre-connected cables for your motherboard. Uh, it's these cable looms are fully sleeved with high resistant nylon sleeving. We've got heat shrink tubing terminating everything. We've got the 20 plus 4 pin connector and the other 4 plus 4 pin connector for your motherboard. Now here we've got six plastic modular connectors. And this is for connecting the power supply to your other peripheral devices. We see the sticker for the quality control, pass the quality control test before leaving the factory. And down here we've got the test for the ground isolation and the high power test. So everything's working as it should. On this side uh, we've got a chart which shows the different power rails and how much current each one of those rails can supply. And here on the back we see it's uh, got a ventilated mesh panel here. We've got the switch, which allows you to select between 230 volt or 115 volt AC power input. Got the AC power cord receptacle. And of course, you've got the on off switch. You can see the top view. We've got a 144 millimeter fan with, comes with blue LEDs. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the power supply. Don't do this at home because you're going to avoid the warranty as this sticker clearly states. But we'll go ahead and open it up for you and show you what's inside. Here from the inside, you can get a good look at the 140 millimeter cooling fan. It's a sleeve bearing fan with blue LEDs. And over here, what really sticks out are these two big aluminum heat sinks dissipating all the heat that's generated here. Uh, we've got a circuit board which contains the primary in input filter. Um, back here there's a ferrite core inductor and a couple of ceramic capacitors. Moving on, you can note that all the wires, all the connections are terminated with heat treat tubing for better insulation, better safety. We've got a fuse here. Uh, another ferrite core inductor, 
and electrolytic capacitors for filtering the power. This is another aluminum heat sink with integrated dial bridge. Moving on, we have a few transformers, the chopper transformer, the main driver transformer, and the standby supply transformer, which uh, regulates the five volt supply. Then on to the second stage of the power supply, we have the, the integrating inductor, along with several filtering electrolytic capacitors. Down here we have the four 12 volt supply rails and there are ground returns coming back. Back here, a little bit hidden, is the circuit board for the fan speed controller. And this will regulate the speed of the, the, speed of the fan depending on how hot the ambient temperature is inside the power supply. And... Now, here on the back side of the power supply, we have another printed circuit board. And this is where all the uh, plastic modular connectors for the 12 volt uh, supply rails are mounted. You can see on the back side, the connectors. And that's got all four 12 volt supply rails, the five volt and the 3.3 volt. Your extreme rock power supply is gonna come with a blister pack of connectors. You can see these wire looms are sleeved with high resistance nylon and terminated with heat shrink tubing to keep everything nice and safe and neat. The 700 watt version of this power supply comes with four connections for PCI Express. There are two six pin connectors for PCI Express and then you've also got a pair of six plus two pin connectors. This makes everything ready for SLI or Crossfire. Now with the 700 watt version, you also get six connectors for SATA drives. You get four Molex connectors. And last but not least, there is also one connector for a floppy drive. This plugs right in here. Very easy to plug, plug in and unplug some nice long cables. Okay, today we've taken a detailed look at the Extreme Rock Power Supply 700 watt version from Senti. And now we've got one all hooked up and ready to be turned on. Here you can see the cooling fan operating with the blue LEDs. Everything looks all nice. Now this power supply will support any Intel or AMD microprocessor of the latest generation. It's ready to support SLI or Crossfire for your graphic solutions. It complies with ATX 2.2 and EPS 2.91. It's got the input switchable 230 volt or 115 volt AC line input. It's got the smart fan controller, which controls the speed of the fan depending on the internal temperature. Uh, the power supply lasts an average of 100,000 hours without failure. We've got four different protections on the power supply. It has a short circuit protection, an overpower protection, and high, both high and low voltage protection. The 700 watt version has got four 12 volt output rails. And the chart on the side tells you how much current each of those four 12 volt outputs supply. And the total current consumption for the 700 watt version is going to be 50 amps coming off of those 12 volt rails. All right, now if you have any other questions about the Extreme Rock Power 700 watt power supply from Senti, go ahead and go to www.senti.com.